Hello, welcome to stretch class with Katie. Let's come to a comfortable seated position, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale your arms up above the head, turn the palm up, exhale down. We're gonna do it all together four times. Inhale your arms up, big, big stretch, reach for the sky. Exhale down, two more times. Inhale your arms up, lengthening the spine. Big, big stretch, exhale down. One last one, inhale your arms up. Reach for the sky, exhale down. Hands on the thigh, sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna stretch out the neck next. You to shoulder extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand, guys, support the head. Stretch, if there's any stiffness in your neck, any clicking sound, just stay here for a little bit longer. No need to rush. We are holding it here for three, two, and one, slowly come back to center. Repeat on the other side. Here to shoulder extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head stretch. No need to rush. We are holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Take an inhale and an exhale. Turn over the right shoulder. Go to where you're comfortable. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side. Know your range of motion. Inhale, come back to center, exhale. Lift the chin up, stretching the front of your neck. Inhale, center, exhale, chin to chest. Leave tension at the back of your neck. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Take an inhale, exhale, one with the right armpit. Slightly tuck the chin in, 45 degree angle, looking down. Inhale, center, exhale. We're going to look at the other armpits. Slightly tuck the chin in, 45 degree angle. Slowly come back to center, take a breath here. Looking at the diagonal corner of the ceiling, lifting the chin up, stretch. You don't have to arch the neck back. <clears throat> Inhale, center, exhale. We're going to look at the other corner of the ceiling, diagonal stretch. Just look up. You don't have to arch the neck back. Know your range of motion always. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Neck circle, half circle only, nice and slow. Don't speed up. When you're ready, we'll go into a full circle. If you prefer not to do neck circle, no problem. Nice and slow control. Oh, it's been so fast that you make yourself dizzy. You're in the center position, we're going to go the other way. Loosen up the neck. Be mindful not to pull a neck tissue. Slowly, slowly come back to center to release. Couple of calming breath. Shoulder stretch. I'm up and across, pull back, creating resistance. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Pull back. Slowly release, same arm up. We lengthen the first, place the hand behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow, tricep stretch. Chin up, looking forward. Try to bring the elbows to the back of your head. Now we're going to slowly, slowly release. Shake it out, repeat on the other side. I'm up and across, pull back. Craving resistance, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Slowly, slowly release, same arm up. We length the first, place the hand behind your back. 
You extend the hand to guide the elbow to tricep stretch. Bring the elbows to the back of your head. Just be mindful if uh, there's any stiffness, if you're not able to raise your arm up above the head, no problem. Know your range of motion always. And now with a release, shake it out. Hands on the shoulders, elbows in, elbows out. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Build a pain to your shoulder blades, opening up lung, heart, chest. Improving your posture, oiling the shoulder joint. When you're in the center position, we're going to go into a full circle. Try to draw the elbow closer and closer together. Last round. Change direction, go the other way, big, big circular motion. Slowly, slowly release, hands on your thighs. Take a breath here, alternating shoulder roll, one up and one down. We just want to increase flexibility and mobility in your joint while we stretch, strengthen, tone, condition muscle mass. Maintaining muscle mass and bone density as we age. Change direction, go the other way. Bigger movement if you like. Feel free to go back to smaller movements. Slowly, slowly release, hands on the thighs. So we have nice and tall. We inhale the arms up, lengthening the spine. Exhale when you come to a side bend. Outside hand, grab hold of the inside wrist, chin is away from the body, eyes will keep up. Feel the length in the side of your body. Do not pull a side muscle. If your neck is good, you can look up. Inhale, center the length of the spine. Exhale, we go to the other side. Outside hand, grab a hold of your side wrist. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking up. Stimulating meridian point, acupuncture point in the side of your body. Good. Inhale, center lengthen. Exhale to the right, release the bottom arm, top arm, suppress the knee. Look at the top palm like you're looking at yourself in the mirror. Sitting securely on your chair, you're not going to fall off. Inhale, center lengthening. Exhale, when you go to the other side. Release the bottom arm. Top arm, suppress and move. Side body long. Slowly, slowly release. We lengthen the spine and center. Exhale, twist. Give yourself a hug. Opposite hand, opposite shoulder, wrap the back arm around the waist. So we're going to keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, look at the back, turning the neck too. Massage your internal organs, stretching our lower back muscles, turning the neck too. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly come back to center the length of the spine. Exhale, twist, give yourself a hug. Opposite hand, opposite shoulder, wrap the back arm around the waist. Now we're going to keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, look at the back, turning the neck too. See if we can turn a little bit more of each exhale breath. Anytime you feel bloated in the abdomen, constipated, back pain, neck pain, feel free to do some twisting position. Now we're going to slowly come back to center, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist, this time opposite hand, opposite thigh, back hand behind you. Slowly turn, overlook at your shoulder. See if you can turn a little bit more with the help of the front hand. And your exhale breath, holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale, the anama, forming a crescent, looking at the top palm. 
staying here for three, two, and one, slowly release, repeat on the other side. Opposite hand, opposite thigh, back hand behind you. Slowly turn, overlooking your shoulder. See if you can turn a little bit more with the help of the front hand and exhale back. Be mindful not to pull about back muscle, neck tissue. Know your range of motion always. And now we slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand, inhale the other arm. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly release, hands on your thighs. Setting up nice and tall. Take a breath here, and we're gonna to do toss or turn, shoulder roll. So starting our small circle. Gradually do a deeper and deeper toss or turn. Don't afraid to move your shoulders, warming up the spine. The head doesn't move, so don't spin so fast to make yourself dizzy. We just want to warm up the spine. Two more rounds. And one last one. Slowly come back to center. Change direction, go the other way. So starting our small circle, we we'll gradually do a deeper and deeper toss or turn. Feel free to move your shoulders, warming up the spine. Two more rounds. And one last one. Slowly, slowly come back to center to release, and nice and tall. Alternating shoulder roll, one up and one down. Make your movement if you like. Once again, be mindful for those who have shoulder issues like frozen shoulder. Know your range of motion always. Listen to your body always to avoid injuries. Now we're gonna change direction, go the other way, alternating shoulder roll. One up and one down. Once again, make a movement if you like. Slowly, slowly release, hands on the thighs. Take a breath here. Wrist rotation, arm out, make a fist. 10 times one way, 10 times reverse. Change direction, go with the other way. Tuck the elbow, close your body, forward, backwards, back and down. Thumb up, forward, backwards. Change light bulb, do a very, very gentle twist. Shake, shake, shake. And you've gone to the washrooms. No towel, no paper to dry your hands, but we do it very gently. 
No sudden jerking motion. Be nice to your body always. Now we slowly, slowly release, hands on the thighs. Sitting up nice and tall. Take a couple of calming breaths, and we're gonna continue. Give the upper body a break. We're gonna work on the lower half of the body. Toes stretch, spread all your toes, taking the big toe down. Inhale to lift the heel high, high up. Exhale to lower the heel back down. So we keep going at your own breath and your own pace. Hands on your thighs. So you can feel the big muscle called quadricep, contract and release. Calf muscle, contract and release. Stretching our hamstrings, ankle stretch, toe stretch. Strengthening the entire leg to support knee function, no muscle in knees. So if you have knee pain, we do have to strengthen the entire leg. Very simple movements. Adding the arms. Inhale your arms up above the head. Reach for the sky. Up, up, up on your tippy toes. Exhale to lower the arms and the heel back down. So when you keep going at your own breath and your own pace. Connecting your breath with your movement. Let's do another three. Two more. And one last one. Big, big stretch. Slowly, slowly release. Hands on your thighs. Setting up nice and tall here. Ankle stretch. Point and flex, pumping blood back to your heart, helping you with circulation, energize the body. Once you have good blood circulation, it may improve your overall wellness, such as increase your immunity level, improve your digestion and sleep quality. One up and one down, keep pumping. Side to side like windshield wiper. Strengthening the ankle joints so it's not so easy to slip and fall and twist your ankle. Circular motion. Reduce swellness, increase flexibility, mobility in your ankle joints. Change direction, go the other way. Anytime you feel like leg cramp coming on, you can do this. Sitting on a chair or lying down on your bed and see if it is gonna help you. And slowly, slowly release. Take a couple of calming breath. And now we'll do a figure four. Opposite ankle, opposite thigh. If you're here, if you're very tight, if you're not able to bring the foot up, you're gonna Place the foot next to the inner thigh. So sitting securely, both butt are sitting down. We're not lopsided one way or the other. We're going to gently pull the knee up. We're going to do it about 10 times. Slowly opening up the hip joint, stretching the flexor. So be mindful for those who have knee issues. Let's do another three, two, and one. Now we will place the foot on the opposite thigh, flexing a foot to protect the knee. Getting ready for the twist, so opposite hand, opposite thigh. Slowly turn, overlooking your shoulder, look at the back, turning the neck to you. See if you can turn a little bit more with each exhale breath. Massaging turn organs, stretching our lower back muscles. Turning the neck to. No need to rush. We're staying here for five. 
four, three, two, and one. Slowly bring the body back to center. Hand resting on the immediate part. We never press on the knee joint or ankle joints to avoid injury. So inhale to prepare, exhale to lean. And by leaning forward, you're going to immediately feel the stretch in the same hip flexor as the bend knee. So inhale, prepare, exhale, lean. Stretching out the hip flexor, opening up the hip joint, helping people to relieve sciatica condition. So whatever you do, don't press your entire body weight on this. You can adjust your own tension and your own intensity. If you suffer from sciatica, if this is causing you pain and discomfort, slowly come out of it. Holding it here for three, two, and one, slowly, slowly rise up, two, release, and repeat on the other side. So place your foot next to your inner thighs. First, we're going to gently pull the knee up, do it about 10 times. Right side may be different from the left side, so if you listen to your body, Go slow, no need to go fast and no need to go big. Let's do another three, two, and one. And now I'm going to place the foot on the opposite thigh, flexing the foot to protect your knee. Getting ready for the twist. So opposite hand, opposite thigh, back hand behind you. Slowly turn, overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck to you. See if we can turn a little bit more with each exhale breath. Massaging turn on this. Stretching our lower back muscles, holding it here for three, two, and one, slowly come back to center, hand resting on the knee pad, inhale to prepare, exhale to lean. If you suffer from sciatica, if this movement is causing you a whole lot of pain and discomfort, slowly come out of it and make sure <clears throat> your family doctor <clears throat> has your condition documented in your record. Get diagnosis and treatment. Holding it here for three, two, and one, slowly, slowly rise up and release. Take a couple of breaths. Take some water if you need. Stay hydrated during the program. Come into wing releasing. My left is your right. So we wrap our arms around the right knee. I do mirror image when I face you. Inhale, relax. Exhale, squeeze. We are massaging organs on the right side as well as ascending colon.
Sitting up nice and tall. Chest proud. Let's do another three. Two. And one, we're going to draw the knee close to the chest. Give it a good hug. Feel free to rest the foot on the chair. Holding it here for three. Two. And one, slowly, slowly release. Repeat on the other side. So wrap your arms around the other knee. Inhale, relax. Exhale, squeeze. Massaging on this on the left side as well as descending corner. Whatever you do, don't lean back too much. I'm sitting about two thirds of the way on my chair. Good posture always. If you need back support, place a firm cushion or pillow behind your back. Let's do another three, two, and one big, big squeeze. Draw the knee close to the chest. And we're gonna stay here for another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Setting up nice and tall. Take a couple of calming breath. And we're gonna give the legs a break and we're gonna continue work upper body. Interlace the finger, press down, push the floor away. Middle, push, not leaning forward. Staying put on your chair, up, push the sky away. So keep going at your own breath and your own pace. Breathing in and out through your nose. We never hold our breath and we don't breathe with the mouth open. Shoulder exercise, forearm stretch, wrist exercise, finger exercise. And we're also lengthening the spine. Keeping your spine healthy and strong for the rest of your life. So when we push the sky away, we grow taller. Now when we're at the top, we're gonna to come to another side bend. Outside hand, grab hold in side wrist. Now be mindful not to pull a side muscle. Look up if your neck is good. Inhale, center. Turn long. Exhale when you go to the other side. Big, big stretch. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Release the bottom arm. Top arm, suppress the knee. Once again, look at the top palm when you're looking at yourself in the mirror. Inhale, center to lengthen. Exhale, and go to the other side. Release the bottom arm, top arm, suppress the knee. Side body long. Slowly, slowly curl back up. And down by your side. Take a breath here. Go pose arm. Palm facing me, chest level. Pull back, another shoulder exercise. Know your range of motion always especially those who have shoulder issues. We're gonna do it about 10 times. One arm up, the other arm down, pull back. Switching side, pull back. And switch, pull back. Back. Not overworking any particular part of the body. Go back, switch, and switch. This is the last set. Go back, 
and the other side. Very good. Slowly, slowly release, hands on the thighs, sitting up nice and tall here. Take care, a couple of calming breath, and we're gonna continue. We're gonna have arms up, make a fist, inhale, shoulders up to your ears, make it tight, tight, tight. Oh, sign it out to release. So now we know how to create tension, and we also know how to let go. Let's do another three. Two more. Inhale, shoulders up to your ears. Making a lot of tension. Exhale, let it go. One last one. Inhale, your shoulders up. Tight, tight, tight. Sign it out to release. Shake it out. Inhale, your arms up. Palm touch. Release index. Find it throat tall. Dropping the hands to the back of your head. Chin up, eyes looking forward. Shoulder exercise. Lifting up your breasts. Firming your bye bye fat. Oh, there may be some clicking sound. As long as it's not pain, it's good to go. Just want to give it a good stretch. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly lengthen. Dropping the elbow side to side. Now, if you're not able to interlace the finger, it's okay to have them slightly apart. Let's do another three, two more, and one last one. Slowly, slowly release, arm down by your side. Sitting up nice and tall here. Take a couple of calming breaths. We're gonna give the upper body a break and we're gonna go back down to the lower half of the body. Now we're gonna open up the hip joint, toes are pulling it out. You don't have to open up very big. Be mindful for those who have hip issue, hip replacement or very tight in the thighs. You know your range of motion back. So knees together, toes up on it. So open and close. Patting the arms when we open, go pose arm, palm facing knee, arms up. In, elbows together, knees together. Let's do another three, two more, and one. Keep the legs going, so when we open, arms up above your head, reach for the sky in, elbows down, knees together, so go at your own breath and your own pace. We'll keep lengthening. Let's do a three, two, and one. Release, keep the legs open closed. I'm just gonna do arms up and arm down. I'm just gonna do a few more, not overworking any particular part of the body. So two more, and one last one. Very good, slowly release, bring the legs together. 
Okay, cup of breath, loosen up, and then we'll continue. We're gonna to come to a diagonal stretch, region stretch, one arm just resting on the thigh. And we're gonna windmill the arms. Diagonal stretch. So sitting securely on your chair again. Don't fall off. Stretching out the side of your body, oblique. Be careful not to pull a side muscle. Go slow. Give it a good stretch. Let's do two more sets. One last one. Slowly, slowly release, hands on your thighs. Bring the legs together, sitting up nice and tall. Up some water if needed. Come into arm um, swing. So, palm facing down, swing it up to the shoulder height. Now we're swinging, we're not hitting, there's no force in this. Just want to loosen up the joint. When you're ready, you're going to come to a full circle. If you're not able to raise the arm up, cactus arms, fine. Palm facing up, roll it out like bowling ball. And full circle if you like. Slowly, slowly release, and we will repeat on the other side. Arm swing, palm facing down. Swing it up to the shoulder height. You're ready, you can go into a full circle. Feel free to go back down to just swinging up to the shoulder height. If you're not able to raise your arm up above the head, slowly increase the flexibility, mobility in your shoulder joint. Now, any move, anything that causes you pain and discomfort, ease off and change direction, palm facing up, roll it out. Okay, ready, full circle. Slowly, slowly release. Come back to the center of your seat. Fold arms. So doesn't matter whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise. Starting out a small circle and gradually do a big and bigger circle motion. Change direction, go the other way. Starting our small circle and gradually do a big and bigger circular motion. Slowly, slowly release, hands on your heart, sitting up nice and tall. Take a couple of common breaths, and we're going to go back to the legs, and we come marching, knee up and knee up. 
Continue to strengthen the entire leg to support knee function. Keep this going. We're gonna go opposite hand, opposite thigh. It's okay to have a slight toss or turn. And slowly, slowly come back to center to release. Couple of calming breath. And go knee up, extend, point the toes up to the ceiling, slowly release. Knee up, extend, point the toes up to the ceiling. Opposite arm, opposite leg, like a walking man motion. We're going very slow, we're not going jogging. A little bit of movement exercise. Get the blood oxygen circulating throughout your body to improve overall wellness. Those who wish to have bigger arms, go ahead. So bigger arms are optional. You can go back to a smaller movement. Everybody's built differently. Different ability, different level, different experiences. Let's do two more. And one last one. Slowly, slowly release, sitting up nice and tall. Now we'll pretend there's an object in front of us. We're gonna bring the leg, and we're gonna do a circular motion to get over the object. So we're doing hip opener here. Stay low, you don't have to, it's not a high leg. So it doesn't matter whether you go clockwise or counterclockwise. Slowly release, take a couple of calming breath, and we're going to change direction. If you were doing clockwise before, and now we do counterclockwise. Let's do two more. One last set. Slowly, slowly release, setting up nice and tall here. Taking a couple of calming breath, and we're gonna continue. We're counting down the upper body. We inhale to open up the body, shine the chest up to the ceiling, palm up, chin up, look up. Exhale, run down, chin to chest. Release any tension that you may have. So we're gonna keep going at your own breath and your own pace. Connecting your breath with your movement. Inhale to open up the body, shine the chest up to the ceiling. Exhale, round down.
Inhale to open up the body. Connecting your breath with your movements. Can counsel help people to relieve back pain? Expanding lung, heart, chest capacity, helping people with breathing related issues like asthma, allergies. Stimulating thyroid gland by doing chin up and chin down. Good posture always. Stretching the front of your neck to reduce turkey neck and double chin. Relieve tension at the back of your neck, creating spaces between C2 and C7. So let's do one last one. Inhale, open up the body to cow. Exhale, run down to cat. Slowly, slowly rise up, sitting up nice and tall. Here. Take a couple of calming breath. So we're going to go back to the legs. We're going to go knee up, extend, open. Feel the stretch in your inner thighs, point the toes up to the ceiling. Bring it in, lower down. So knee up, extend, open, close, and down. So we're at the opposite arm up, so leg. You don't have to open up very big. And make sure the arm doesn't go to the back. Make sure you can see it in front of you. Nice and slow or control. No need to speed up. No need to go fast. Let's do two more sets. And one last set. Slowly, slowly release, setting up nice and tall here. Now we're gonna continue, we're gonna firm up the core abdominal muscle. So strengthening the front abdominal muscle and the lower back muscle to support your spine. So feel free to hold on to the chair. Whatever you do, don't lean back too much. So we're gonna go knee up, extend, lower down. So use your core abdominal muscle and your strong legs to prepare yourself to lift the leg up. Now, even if you can go like this, you don't have to go very far up. Up, extend, point the toes up to the ceiling and release. Let's do another three. Two more. And one last one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. Take a couple of calming breath. And from here, we're going to do some tapping. So cupping hands, make sure the hand is hollow. We're going to go up and down the legs. So increase blood circulation in your legs. So we are tapping. We are not hitting. And switching side, tapping up and down the leg. Slowly, slowly release, tapping on the outside, outside meridian, and when you get to the chest, switch hands and go down the other side. So when you're ready, you can begin.
Switching side, go down the other arm. Stimulating meridian points, acupuncture point. Inside meridian, so same thing, when you get to the chest, go down the other arm, on the inside of the arm. Slowly, slowly go back to where you start. Sitting up nice and tall, eye of the owl. Slowly, slowly release, eye of the owl. Slowly, slowly release. Our pit for lymphatic drainage. Slowly release, switching side arm pit for lymphatic drainage. And slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Surrender. Interlace the finger. Gently place it behind your head. Gently pull forward, relieve tension at the back of your neck, creating spaces between C2 and C7. Be very gentle. Do not damage the soft tissue in your neck. Slowly, slowly come back up. Arm down by your side, shake it up, loosen up. Create a circular motion. And now we're going to come to a forward bend. We're going to slide the hand from the top of the leg all the way down to the ankle. So we're going to pass the knee. And we're going to come to a forward bend. We're going to lay the stomach on the thigh, head is below heart. So if you don't want to do forward bend because you have high blood pressure, low blood pressure, vertigo, and so on, you may skip this one. So we're going to start sliding the hand. Past the knee, towards the ankle. Let your stomach rest in your thighs. We're going to dangle here for a moment. Feel free to hold on to opposite elbows. Head is below heart. So we're lengthening the spine, stretching out the back. Let the blood go the other way for a moment. If you start feeling this here not well, because the head is below heart, you need to slowly come out of this, holding it here for three. Two and one, release, and we'll start rising up. So we will slide the head back up, past the knee, all the way up. Very good. Slowly release, and from here, we're going to come to a back bend to counter forward bend. So interlace the finger, knuckles down and away from you, shine the chest up to the ceiling. Chest proud, we're not pushing the stomach forward, neutral spine. Holding it here, fall three, two, and one, slowly, slowly release. Very good, shake it out, loosen up. So we've come to the end of the program. So to close the practice, bring your hands to heart center. So thank you very much for joining me, sharing the positive energy of Barbas and letting me guide through the practice. Always my pleasure, namaste.